Alright, uh, welcome to my Mushroom Kingdom tutorial. Uh, this tutorial basically covers every quest that you need to do, need to complete, in order to get your medal slash title for Mushroom Kingdom. Um, the quests are kind of annoying, so if you were to come from the Six Path Crossway, uh, this is the path you would be taking. Um, it's kind of fast, but uh, I'm sure you guys can uh, follow it cool clearly and kill uh, this, this boss real quick. Alright, so uh, this is where Mushroom Kingdom is, and you need to basically just look around, see who has quests. Um, if you have the little envelope, you're going to take it to this guy, and uh, that's like, oh, okay, you got to do these quests. So uh, after you do that, he's going to have another quest for you. And I believe this quest, you have to collect 50 spores. Yep. And then uh, those are in this map here. These red guys right here. So just kill these guys until you get 50 spores. Doesn't take that long. Especially if you're as high level as I am. So, uh, yeah, the, this series of quests can be might take a while, it might take you a couple hours, um, but in the end you do get one of the best medals for that level. So, okay, so you turn that in, you accept his next quest, and he's going to want you to go over to this guy to your left, he's near the king. If you don't know what to do, you can always press Q, I do that a lot. I usually skip what they ask you to do and just press Q. Alright, uh, so he gives you some experience, you accept his quest, and the king has a quest for you, you're going to want to accept his quest too. Alright, now uh, the one guy's quest, he wants you to go examine this door, it's like this gate, you can't get past it until you complete so many quests. So, uh, we're going to show you where this door is real quick, it's a couple maps over. One reason I chose this uh, series of uh, quests is because there's no world map, and uh, can confuse a lot of people. Alright, so here's the door, and you basically just go up to it, and the quest should complete, and then you gotta run all the way back. So, this, these series of quests involves you running back and forth a lot, so, you know, just be pre prepared for that. Uh -huh. You can do it any time after level 30, as you can see, I'm 164. Um, it does not matter when you do them. So, obviously it'll be easier to do it at a higher level, because this is only for like level 30 to 40 people, you know. So, okay, you turn that in, and then you gotta talk to this, like, wizard dude. And he has a quest for you. Alright, I believe he wants you to go talk to this other guy. You check that out. Yeah. And you just gotta go talk to this other guy. Now this guy's gonna help you make the formula to get through that door. So after you do these quests, you should be able to um, get through the door and actually get into the Mushroom Kingdom castle. Now uh, I believe this guy wants you to go get 50. Uh, mushroom caps from the other mushrooms. There's two mushrooms, the red ones and the purple ones. And, uh, those are the purple ones up there, so now you just gotta get 50 of their drops, and you're all good. And you can take them back, and, uh, yeah, and, then, you, and then you can continue. I'm skipping most of the collecting part, because it takes up a lot of time. It takes up at least five minutes. And you don't want to sit sit there watch me collect things for five minutes. All right, so uh, you get here and you talk to that guy, and he's like, "Okay, there you go." Now he wants you to collect 50 more of those other spores. He just really likes to make your life a living hell. But uh, then you'll get your little spray thing, and uh, you can continue. So, yada yada. Alright, so now we're back here, 
I'm fast forwarding, talking to this guy and adding him to a party. Alright, so here's your spray. And uh, basically, you just accept your quest. And then he's going to have a couple quests for you. You just want to kind of accept them all. We're going to go through everything uh, step by step. Make sure you get everything. Alright, so you got your spray. You're going to go all the way to the door. And you're going to open your inventory. And then go to your use section. And then double click the spray. And you're going to click yes. You want to be standing next to the door. Now that's going to get you in the door. Now once you're in the door, you just get one run back, so just run back, doesn't really matter. Hey guy, pass him. He's all confused, I'm going so fast he couldn't keep up. Alright, so now you're back here. You talk to that guy again, he's going to have two quests for you. He's going to want you to take one of the, like, spray things over to the wizard dude, and then one to Bruce. Now, Bruce is in Henesis, he's like actually in Henesis. So, um, that involves you having to go all the way back and then come walking back. So, uh, we'll do that in a sec. Um, but we're going to take it over to the magic guy first, the wizard dude. And he's going to give you, you know, experience and another quest to accept. And, let's see. Alright, now he wants you to inspect the walls, I believe can't really tell, but, oh no wait, actually he just wants us to go talk to this guy, and then this guy, I believe, he wants us to go inspect the walls, which, you know, a lot of the, it, it's just kind of like stupid, he just wants us to run up, just like we did with the door before, and, hey guy, I'm passing you, come on, this way, alright, so we're gonna fast forward a little, go to the wall, Blow up those things. Come back. Alright, so we, we went and saw the wall. Alright, you accept his quest. Now he wants you to go collect pigtails. Now we haven't seen the pigs yet, but I'm going to show you where those are in a sec. Okay, basically you're going to go to the wall. Now there's a special way to get in through the door. Sometimes it doesn't let you in. I'm going to show you in a sec how to get in without a problem. Alright, so these are the pigs. You're gonna just kill a couple and collect 30. 30 of their tails. The spawn's really good, so it shouldn't take too long. Alright, so when you're done, you can actually use a nearest return scroll, and it'll just take you back here, it won't take you back to Henesis. Alright, so you're gonna talk to the magic dude, and he's gonna give you, I believe, what you need to get past the thorns on the if you remember, the, the wall had, like, these thorn bushes or whatever, and you're gonna collect, you're not gonna collect anything, actually. I'm, I'm tired, I'm sorry. Uh, you're, he's gonna give you a potion. You're gonna accept all these quests, by the way. You wanna accept all the quests before you go back. Alright, now you should have a potion. You run back, and, uh, oh, there's another. Okay, he's gonna he's telling you you gotta look for a guy named James in the castle, so we're gonna keep a lookout for James. He's hidden in the castle. And then he and then uh, the king wants us to eliminate the three different yetis, and then that guy wants us to collect that. Alright, so now we're back at the door. You're gonna hold up here and then just walk into it while holding up. That's the guaranteed way to get in every time that I found. Alright, so you come over to the thorns. Now this is where you use that potion, kind of like the door. Uh, it should be in your use. Stand next to it. Double click it. Now it's going to do this like special animation. Ooh, you used the potion. Oh. Okay, now you're done. And uh, we're going to go back and uh, finish up this quest real quick. So, uh, nearest town scroll. Alright, uh, yep, okay. And then we're gonna finish that up. Now I'm gonna go get Bruce out of the way real quick. Remember, Bruce was in town, we gotta go take him that thing real quick. So, nearest town scroll. Now, I believe Bruce is this way. No, wait, he's this way. No, wait, no, he is this way. 
All right. Okay. Yeah. There. That's Bruce. Okay. You talk to Bruce, and that's it. The other quests you don't need, so ignore it. Okay. Now we're running back. And there's another way. If you don't want to take the thorns, you can take the spring, but it's not a guarantee. It's past the pigs. All right. So you go in the door. There's these helmet dudes, and you gotta kill, get get their drops for one request. So uh, th these are the helmet dudes where so you get those like smashed up helmets. Uh, and there it is. Now if we if you keep going to the right, you'll eventually hit this room, and there's like a little book there, and that's where James is. That's where that like one hidden guy is who's been hiding in the castle. You talk to him, and he's gonna give you a quest. Which requires you to go back to the helmet bros and find a different helmet that only appears if you accept his quest. And it doesn't look all broken up. So, uh, yep, you just uh, keep attacking these guys for a while. And there it is. Um, it doesn't take too long, maybe like three, four minutes. So then you bring him the helmet, and then he gets all happy, puts on the helmet, and runs away. And, uh, yeah, that's it for that. Now, uh, you should be able to turn in the helmet quest, but we're going to do that in a little bit. Now, we're, you're going to need a, at least one person in your party. You want to keep going left. No, wait, right. I wonder if I said right before. Oh, well. You're going to keep going right, okay? You're going to find a party, and you're going to climb to the top of this tower, and you're going to click the top one. And that's what you choose to fight the boss, the Yeti bosses, as a party. Now, you want to kill the white one, the gold one, and the gray one. Alright. It's completely random which one is going to appear, so you could be fighting for at least two minutes or at the most 20 minutes. You know, it's so after that you're gonna choose the second one by yourself, because after you defeat all three you get the key. And then you're gonna go all the way over. And you're gonna click yes. And there's the princess. She's all like, man, man, they're gonna make me marry some dude. And, uh, so then the boss appears, and you kill him. And before you talk to him and finish this quest, or whatever, you're gonna want to pick up the drops, because I didn't get to do that. But anyway, after that, you just accept all their little quests, and, uh, we're gonna hit Q in a second to figure it out. Okay, she gave you these items, you take them to the king, and that's about it, and you get these gloves. Alright. This one you have to go see a secret room, and then this one is done. So we got we just gotta take that back to him. This one is done. We gotta take that back to him, and this one is done. We gotta take that back to him. All right. So complete that quest. Complete this quest. Accept that quest. And we're gonna complete this quest and accept the new quest. Okay. We need to kill 50 of every monster we fought so far. So. We need to kill 50 of the mushrooms, both of them. 50 of the pigs, 50 of the dudes, 50 of the spear guys. Which we haven't really seen the spear guys yet, but they're in there. You'll pass them. Alright, and then you need to find the secret room, and you need to get, a, get your 25 spear heads from the spear guys. Which you'll be able to get when you're killing 50 of them. Okay, this is the secret room. Okay, this is a, like this is an odd quest, because all you have to do is go in this room after you beat the mushroom boss and it auto completes and all you have to do is enter it that's it so enter the room kill a guy it's done all right these are the spear guys pick up your spear heads kill 50 of each monster and you should be done you talk to this guy complete your quest yeah Complete this quest, that's the 50 of each monster, you get to choose a scroll. These scrolls only work for the selected equips that you get from this PQ from the bosses, and it is repeatable. Okay, after that, you get your title, which is the medal, yay, this is what you want. And it is a 2 of every stat, and I believe 200 HP and MP. Nope, I was wrong, it's only 100 of... Uh, HP and MP, but it's still a really good medal, and you probably won't find a better one for a while. Um, your fourth job, medals, usually have two of every stat and 200 HP and MP, so it's it's pretty good for its uh, for being only level 30. Uh, it's kind of hard to get, but uh, you know it's it's well worth it in the end. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you later.